Welcome to week two of Plant Adaptations. This week we're looking at the Strangler Fig. The Strangler Fig is something that I bet you would have seen all over Thailand on your adventure, especially if you've ever been to a national park here or a park in Bangkok or just generally walked around. I walked around my area this week and found many, many Strangler Figs. So, what is a Strangler Fig? Well, the strangler fig is actually a tree murderer. That's right, you heard it here first. The strangler fig is a tree murderer. So, let's have a look at the journey of a strangler fig. A strangler fig, of course, will start off as a small seed. That seed will be placed, usually by a bird, at the top of a tree in a branch. That little fig seed, innocent enough, will sit there, soak up a few nutrients from the tree and sprout a tiny little leaf. Fine, what harm could it do? I hear you say. Then the fig will shoot down a little root, a little innocent root. It will attach itself to the tree and go down, sometimes in the air, sometimes around the tree, down, 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 just a tiny little root. The fig won't grow too much until it reaches the ground. Boom! When the root of that, of that strangler fig seed goes into the ground, it's going to start meaning business. It's going to get bigger and bigger. It's going to soak up the nutrients from the tree and the strangler fig root is going to wrap, start wrapping around the tree, getting wider and stronger a few more roots are going to come down. Those roots, as soon as they reach the ground, collect more and more nutrients. They're taking the nutrients that truly belong to that tree. They're also getting so strong and wrapping around the tree, strangling the tree, that the tree that usually grows outwards and outwards can no longer grow. It is strangled. The strangler fig that only started off as a little seed dropped by an innocent little bird on the tree begins to soak up the nutrients from the ground that the tree would usually take. It soaks up, it prevents the tree from growing any wider and it also produces a crown at the top which starts to photosynthesize the sunlight that that tree inside it would usually soak up. By this time, the strangler fig has become a murderer. The tree can no longer grow. It is no longer getting nutrients. And the tree inside begins to die. It begins to rot away because it is no longer alive. It is no longer photosynthesizing. It is no longer gaining nutrients for ground. The strangler fig has taken over. It has used that tree to support itself. Now, the tree rots, of course decomposing, giving more nutrients to the strangler fig, and eventually that tree will become hollow. And the strangler fig will be able to stand by itself and last hundreds of hundreds of years. The strangler fig, a tree murderer. Bum, bum, bum. To finish, it was, I'm recording this on Monday, the 25th of May. And as you can see, these goats are very needy today. I haven't got any food on me. I haven't got any drink on me, but they, they want a cuddle because last night, if you remember, was the very big storm. And I woke up and I thought, how are my goats surviving this? It was their first storm. So I think today they're feeling a little bit afraid, aren't you, Flora? Look at this bad boy. Strangler fig taking over. Now, over to you. How many strangler fig trees can you find in your neighborhood or park?